Hey guys, welcome back to Fort Tarkin Gaming. Today I want to talk about the accuracies of the Droidica in Star Wars Battlefront 2. First off, in canon, Droidicas, or otherwise known as Destroyer Droids, were created by a sentient insectoid race known as the Colicoid. The Colicoid designed the Destroyers after their own biology. Not much is known about the Colicoid, except for that they were extremely ugly bastards. Destroyers were known for being extremely efficient killing machines. Armed with two pairs of blaster cannons, a destroyer could change its shape into a ball and roll up to speeds of almost 47 miles per hour, which made destroyers good at flanking their enemies. We first see droidicas in the Phantom Menace, where a pair of them force Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan to retreat from the Viceroy of the Trade Federation, Duke Gunray. Where are those droidicas? Master! Destroyer! Shield generator! Let's go! These droids are so efficient at their jobs, they made two of the most powerful Jedi in the Order run. Anakin described the droidicas with the following. Destroyers are quick, pack twin blasters, and come with their own shield generators. Nothing short of a cannon will pierce it, but they do have two weaknesses. The shields deflect high-velocity attacks. What the shields don't stop are slow or stationary objects. They're designed to absorb them so nothing hinders their movement. Ahsoka added, Destroyers are blind from behind. A distraction combined with a rear assault will give you a kill. So how are the droidicas in Battlefront 2? So obviously they can't be exactly accurate to canon. DICE did an amazing job at go as far as to say perfect with their model and animations. Like the attention to detail is amazing. I never noticed before making this video, but you can see in episode one, and I'll pull it up here, you can see out of the chest of the Droidica pops these little shield generators out, and that's where the shield comes from. And in Battlefront 2, it does the exact same thing. I love those little tiny animations that just you know make it a little bit more intricate. But Dice did an amazing job. And Dice gets an A plus on their accuracy in terms of the model and their the movements and the animations. The speed at which the droidicas roll and transform is almost the exact same as the movies. The roll is so fast that the CIS, whenever they invade the Republic's Venator, they can easily get to any point before the Republic can because they're the fastest unit in the game by far. So I'd give them an A plus there for accuracy. This is where the inaccuracy starts. A lightsaber hero can quickly destroy a, a droidica. There's no reason for a player that's playing as a hero to do anything other than run up and smack on a destroyer because they're pretty easy to kill. So what I would suggest, I have, I have two suggestions, but basically my goal of these suggestions is to make it so that a player playing as a hero, specifically a lightsaber hero, would be motivated to think twice about engaging, otherwise they'll just get killed by a destroyer because they're too powerful. They're more of like an anti-hero unit instead of just another enforcer. So kind of in the vein of a droid commando because they can knock down heroes easily if heroes aren't careful and think about what they're doing. This one's a little bit more difficult to quantify in canon, but the range on the droidicas is definitely not very good. But I did find a scene in the Clone Wars movie that they released in theaters before the Clone Wars TV show started where there's three droidicas, which I'll show you on the screen here, but three droidicas roll up on Anakin and they stop and set up, you know, deploy shields from quite a ways away. More than what you could do in Battlefront 2 and actually be a threat, not just a pea shooter. So, and you can see Anakin, he, then Anakin acts like it's an actual threat and he's like, where the heck is Ahsoka? And then Ahsoka blasts him away with the ATT. <laughs> Ahsoka, I told you to stay close to me. I 
Can't get much closer, Sky Guy. If Anakin is second guessing, the Droidica is at that range. I feel like the range also needs to be buffed on the Droidicas, make them so that they can actually do some some damage from a distance. So those are my thoughts and opinions about the accuracies of the Droidica in Battlefront 2. So what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I just love that DICE added these guys in the game. They're definitely my go-to unit whenever I have to play the Separatists. You know, they're way fast, so you can flank people, and they'll never see you coming. You deploy, do your overload ability, and you just mow people down. They're not the best unit in the game, but, you know, I've definitely... I've had a lot of fun with them, and if you're if you're careful, you can, you can get a lot of kills with them. But if you enjoyed this video, click like, and I put out videos like this every single week if not multiple times a week so subscribe if you want more of this and remember all is as the force wills it